Cities are places where big global challenges have to be addressed. 70% of Europeans live in cities and that number is going to rise. Our citizens need clean air. They need good transport. They need dependable water supplies and they want their waste to be handled safely. Europe's cities are facing up to these challenges and the European Union is helping them with a new European Union urban agenda, the Pact of Amsterdam. The aim is to improve the urban dimension in the EU policies that affect cities. The Pact has a strong focus on key environmental priorities. We will be implementing it through innovation partnerships focused on the circular economy, urban mobility and air quality. There will be financial support as well from regional and cohesion funds and from Horizon 2020, which also supports innovation. One of the biggest challenges is air quality. More than 400,000 people die prematurely each and every year because of air pollution. And that is 10 times more than the toll from traffic accidents. Back in 2010-13, the Commission had tabled a package of measures to half those deaths by 2030. A political agreement has just been reached, clearing the way for the full implementation of our clean air quality package. This should make it much, much easier for cities to meet the air quality standards which are set out in the legislation saving lives. Some cities seem to manage better than others in ensuring clean air. Last year, we asked people around Europe whether they were satisfied with air quality in their cities where they live. In some cities, 94% said yes, but in others, it went as low as 16%. So we obviously have a lot to learn from each other. We are working with cities to improve environmental sustainability in a range of critical areas. There are measures for waste, urban mobility and, of course, the circular economy. We want cities to develop strategies to address all these areas. And we are developing a tool to help them benchmark their performance against other cities and to monitor progress. It should be launched next year. My hope is it will help cities bring in more sustainable urban planning. Many of these challenges are shared by the rest of the world. The Sustainable Development Goals, which were adopted last year, include a specific target for safe, resilient and sustainable cities. More recently, in Quito this October, world leaders signed up to a new urban agenda under Habitat 3, which puts the issues of sustainable cities center stage. I am certain that many of you live and work in cities. But you are in an unusual position. You actually have the power to help bring about change. You can help planners take decisions that will make city air cleaner and more breathable. I hope that today's police conference will take you further in that direction and fill you with the inspiration to improve our respiration. My best wishes for a fruitful and a very successful event.